the rivalry. More than anything, I wanted to be my brother. The emotion. The pitching. It's nice that the pitchers today kind of stepped up and were able to finish it up. It's a sunflower showdown for the Asians. Only one guy can make those pitches in our program. The Hawks and Cats looking to prove themselves. Well, you got to earn your way to the top. You know, it hits a little different. As the postseason inches closer. Take care of our business, uh, golf our ball. In the Big 12, so many of these games come down to who gets the breakthrough. Elsewhere, the offseason heating up. Yeah, I know we have a good plan at K-State, now we've got to implement it. It all starts right now on K-Nation. A Nation, sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Tonight on K Nation, former KU football player Rich Miller has no problem being an underdog. How he's using that to fool the next step in his pro football career. And go ahead and take your guess on Coach McFall's favorite restaurant or favorite color or maybe even what position she played back in the day. But I'll tell you this, you probably don't know her as well as these three, a pop quiz with Jayhawk softball. And we talk one-on-one -on -one with one of K-State's best hitters. How breakfast in Cape Cod led Brady Day turning down pro baseball and returning to Manhattan. Well, welcome into K Nation, Caroline Soro alongside Glenn Kinley here. We told you last week this would be an exciting Sunflower showdown on the baseball diamond, and man, it did not disappoint. Oh, it was <laughs> certainly plenty exciting. In fact, if you caught Friday night's game, your heart rate might still be coming down. Oh my gosh. Saturday, yeah. Sunday weren't much less exciting. It was a heck of a baseball series. Let's start with a full breakdown. We'll give you all three games. An instant classic on Friday. The Jayhawks get homers from Ty Wisdom and Ben Hartle to take a 2-1 lead through seven in the eighth. A Nick English single scores Kalen Culpepper. The Cats go up one. That led to a bases loaded, two outs, full count. This is the one you draw up in the backyard when you're six or seven years <laughs> old. Tyson Neighbors gets Cody Sojinaga looking. Called strike three, game over. Cats take game one. Every kid in that dugout, every coach in our staff, that's, that's what we signed up to, to be in high pressure meaningful games, innings, pitches, and um, just love seeing our kids compete and, and, and perform in pressure situations. So good night, game one. Stay hungry, stay greedy. Let's go to game two. Jayhawks looking to even the series here. First, let's check out this play from Jaden Parsons using wow. his glove to flip it home to save a run. Sports Center top 10 should have caught a look at that good one. Good shot by you on the camera there. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. And one of the stories is this game took 40 minutes longer than game one because of replays. But the real story here is KU's pitching. The yeah. freshman Dom Vegley goes six scoreless as the Jayhawk pick, pitching staff allows just six hits, no runs, and strike out eight batters to set up a pivotal rubber match. The rivalry thing is uh, what college sports are all about. So, you know, fun to come into this environment. The, uh, you know, they had a great crowd today, and we had a great crowd today. We had a bunch of Jayhawks here in, in Manhattan today. But, yeah, it was a great environment, uh, a great experience for our guys and, and for their guys as well. This is, this is a great rivalry. You do the math. The Sunday finale is for all the marbles. KU's Evan Shaw was really good. Seven strikeouts in three innings. A tie wisdom homer in the fourth extends the Kansas lead to two, then the Cats, bats came out. Two sack flies tie it for Kansas State, and then true freshman Nick English gets to play a little hero ball. Two RBI single with two outs. That's a clutch piece of hitting. And then Tyson <laughs> Neighbors, who else would come in and slam the door shut in the ninth? The rivalry, if you can believe it, is painted purple for the third straight spring. But get this, the all-time series between these two now tied 141 wins for Kansas, 141 Ooh. for K-State, and three ties. KU fifth in the Big 12 standings, K-State seventh, two regular season weekends remain. Some KU softball here celebrating senior day yesterday for a senior class that has just done so much Absolutely. for this program. Unfortunately, Jayhawks were swept at home by BYU. Devastating final schedule there for KU that featured two top five teams prior to the Cougars. KU now enters the Big 12 tournament on a 10-game skid. 
and the sweep means that BYU jumps KU in the Big 12 standings, bumps the Hawks to seven seed in the Big 12, and they lose a bye. But the good news here is KU opens the conference turning with last place Houston, who had swept on the road earlier this year. That game starts the Big 12 tournament this Wednesday in OKC. The winner gets two seed Oklahoma. All right, so the Jayhawks have a chance to give Oklahoma their last loss as a member of the Big 12. Maybe so. We'll see. Got to get by well, Houston farewell first. farewell to her. One, yeah. one game at a time. Absolutely. Well, we gave you a post-NFL draft update from a lot of your favorite players last week, and this week we got to talk to one special Jayhawk. Absolutely. A guy who provided a whole bunch of production in form of numbers on the field, but even more in leadership. Talking about Rich Miller, the Jayhawk linebacker, followed Leipold to Lawrence after the two were together in Buffalo. In fact, Lance gave Rich his only official offer out of high school, he told me. He did not get selected in the NFL draft, but instead will participate in mini camps with the Ravens and the Bears. But let me tell you, this guy has been an underdog his whole life, and he credits the Jayhawks staff for instilling a confidence that allows him to keep chasing his NFL dreams. Coach Lightbo, Coach Simpson, Coach Sleeve, everyone, they knew who I was and they knew what I could be. So I think I thank them for pouring that into me, you know, allowing me to showcase who I really am and, you know, really teach myself who I am. Someone else saw the potential in me to be able to change the program around, you know what I'm saying? So when I came here, I did all I could to change the program around. Well, he's certainly one of the key athletes who helped turn around that program and helped, uh, by the way, a pretty big update they got going at David Booth Kansas Memorial Stadium. <laughs> You're seeing a few looks at the latest construction. This video was earlier in the week. And by the way, Rich Miller tells me he's juiced up about the project, even though he won't play in it because he knows that his group helped create the momentum which led to this, and they absolutely did. Yes, it did. Maybe you can come back and watch someday. He's got to. <laughs> now, here's a guy that could get to play there, KU lands Amir Herring out of the transfer portal, who's an interior lineman that played in one game as a true freshman with Michigan, the national champs, by the way. He was a four-star prospect in high school where he only gave up one sack but finished with over 240 pancake blocks. Wow. I know, right? Well, the Cats get a guy as well. Linebacker Alec Marenko transfers in after three seasons with New Mexico. He's got 96 career tackles, 3.5 of those for a loss after elating the Lobos with 66 tackles in 2023. He was named an honorable mention All-Mountain West player and has one season of eligibility left. Well, K-State football also lost a linebacker this week. It's Jake Clifton, not to the transfer portal, but he actually is putting his football career on pause to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He played in eight games with three starts as a sophomore last season before an injury knocked him out for the rest of the year. He did not specify whether he plans to return to football at some point or even return to K-State at some point, but it sounds like it won't be this fall. Up there. Our friends at Fox 4 in Kansas City say the best first impression at Chiefs rookie minicamp was K-State wideout Phillip Brooks. You'll see him here. KC native signed as an undrafted free agent after 53 catches and 589 yards his senior year with the Cats. Well, declaring for the transfer portal ended this week. K-State returns a big one. That's David Gasson, the Flying Dutchman, some say. He'll return to the Manhattan for his final year of college ball. Forward average eight points and seven boards a game this year. Over in Jayhawkland, Kevin McCuller, Johnny Furphy both get an NBA draft invite. Of course, Kevin's going for sure. He's out of eligibility. Furphy could still return. We're waiting for his option. And the combine is one week from today in Chicago. Don't go anywhere. More K Nation still comes your way. We're talking golf, KU men's golf. Not done yet, and we'll hear from their head coach in just a few minutes. But before we get there, K-State infielder Brady Day chose to come back for another year, and he's proven to be Mr. Reliable. We talk with Brady and Coach Pete Hughes next. Hi, I'm Bob Goodall from Kansas Furniture Mart. Queen pillow top mattresses, 233, eight piece living room groups, 888. Financing for everyone at the original Kansas Furniture Mart. For the past 20 years, this community has trusted our in-house crews to install floors all across the area, and we thank you. For the best craftsmanship and overall value, thank Topeka's premier flooring and onyx dealer, Capital City Flooring, where fine quality and service matter most. Batter up at Play It Again Sports. We offer an extensive selection of new and used baseball and softball equipment from Wilson, Easton, Rawlings, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, String King, Dudley, Mizuno, Marucci, and Nakona. We have custom uniforms. Try before you buy with our indoor batting cage. Bring in your quality used gear to save even more by trading in and trading up or get cash on the spot. We are buying all day, every day. 
Play it again sports. 21st and Fairlawn in the Fairlawn Plaza Mall. Because McCray Plaza has been family owned and operated since 1975, we are able to make decisions that keep you independent and in the game. Get a game plan and join the winning team at McCray Plaza. Car accident? Because your family matters. Devon James wins. $175,000. That means a family can pay the bills while their father can't work. $456,000. That means a mom and her kids can keep their home after her crash. And $550,000? That can take care of a man and his family during his long road to recovery. A serious accident can affect so many people. At Devon James, we fight for you and those counting on you. Devon James wins. 888-8888. Hi, I'm Bob Goodall from Kansas Furniture Mart. Queen Pillow Top Mattresses, 233, eight piece living room groups, 888. Financing for everyone at the original Kansas Furniture Mart. Well, through 47 outings, you can count on one hand the number of games that K-State's Brady Day has not reached base. That's right, it all comes after the now red shirt junior was drafted by the Atlanta Braves last summer. So I stopped by practice to find out, well, why the Batcats, or talk to the Batcats about why he decided to return for one more year and how he's finding new levels of success in his final year of college baseball. Brady's confident and Brady knows he can do damage. Brady will do damage. That confidence got Pete Hughes to Cape Cod last summer to make sure. I wanted my face to be the last face he saw before he made a decision, not, not some agent who he just met or some scout who he doesn't know. But it wasn't their meeting for breakfast that sold Day on another season with K-State. It was... I love the school here. I love the culture that we have. Uh, my teammates, the coaches. Everyone really makes it feel like a home. It doesn't happen if you don't have a high trust factor in your coaching staff and, and the people you're coming back to. Trusting them to develop you to get to the different levels so you can change your draft status and, you know, make a run for Omaha. A run for Omaha and something to prove. He had 383 in league last year, you know, which is an insane number and still can't get on the all Big 12 preseason team. I think he carries that with a little chip on his shoulder. He's what Hughes says is now a rare breed. He redshirted as a, as a freshman, which, you know, you won't see happen these days with the portal and and kids just jumping in and out and automatically eligible and kids aren't patient enough. Brady just puts his head down and works. He's not looking for anything else. Uh, he's just one of those guys that loves the, loves the game, plays the game hard. That'll always show up and that'll always give you results. Results indeed, enough of them to leave Brady regret free after temporarily saying no to his lifelong dream. It was like, am I really gonna turn this down? Like, people don't get this opportunity all the time. How could I turn it down? And there were some things I wanted to work on in college before going to pro ball. So I just felt like it was best to work on it here with a bunch of great coaches and great teammates. And Brady did have a sack fly in that win against the Jayhawks today, so he he's certainly still pitching in. He was a big part of the weekend mm -hmm. too. Now over to golf for a program record tying a straight season. KU men's golf will compete as a team in the NCAA region. That's right. If you thought the sunflower shirt on the diamond was stressful, <laughs> let's talk about KU golf on the outside looking in from the big dance with just four holes remaining at the Big 12 tournament. An eagle on par four from sophomore Will King boosted the Jayhawks up the rankings. And this marks the third time in KU history that the team has gone to eight straight regionals. Coach says this is great, but Guys, well, they want to have a shot at making some noise in the postseason. I do. I think, uh, I don't think we've played our best golf by a long shot. I thought uh, the first tournament in the spring out to Prestige, that's a regional field with uh, the number of top 25 teams in there. We finished second. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good indicator what this team could do. Strap up the boots. We got work to do today, and obviously uh, we took care of business. They certainly did. The Jayhawks get the 11 seed in the Rancho Santa Fe Trail or Santa Fe Trail, that's uh, right close to us in Topeka. <laughs> Santa Fe Regional in California. The meet begins next Monday. The Jayhawks make it as a team, and K-State's Cooper Schultz gets the call as an individual. The junior golfer will play solo at the Austin NCAA Regional in Texas after the Wildcats advanced as a team last season. We'll stick around more Canadian after the break, and it's not your typical sit-down interview with Jayhawks softball. It's better. Casey Hamilton, <laughs> Campbell Bagshaw, Ashlyn Anderson all join the program. Straight ahead. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you build a foundation for your college career, like transferable credits offered in your high school, earning your high school diploma through GED completion on our campus, breakthrough to a new career. Manhattan Tech, providing higher education. 
skin feeling rougher than sandpaper? Don't let it ruin your day. Try new Dial Exfoliating Body Wash with a touch of creamy cocoa butter and orange extract. Reveal soft and healthy feeling skin after just one shower. Dial up your day. The Lawrence Weather Camp, sponsored by Messler Roofing Siding and Windows. Monday. Who's ready for a concert? The City Concert Series on today. Always the place for the hottest music. Beautiful weather, great sound. Who will rock the Today Plaza this summer? Be there for the epic reveal. Monday on today. Reserve your ticket for the St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway by May 16th, and you'll be eligible to win the house and a $5,000 Visa gift card. Visit KSNT.com or call 800-846-2640 and help make a difference in the lives of children with cancer. Next Live, Tom Selleck and Lisa Rinna. Plus, we celebrate that very special someone as I Love Mom Week kicks off. Monday at 11 on 27 KSNT. Take a break with the Live at Lunch concert series at Evergy Plaza. Every Wednesday from 11 to 1, enjoy live music and food trucks in the heart of downtown Topeka. Kelly's all new all week. And look who's visiting. Jeff Daniels from A Man in Full. Monday at 3 on 27 KSNT. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you break through to a high paying career by empowering you in high demand fields. Let Manhattan Tech help you break through to a new career. Manhattan Area Technical College, providing higher education. Kansas softball finished the regular season with 27 wins for the first time since 2018. And something that just stands out is how much fun this group has. It's absolutely a tight knit group, but how tight knit? I caught up with Campbell Bagshaw, Casey Hamilton, and Ashley Anderson to find out just how well they know their head coach. Check it out. Coach, uh, I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions to see uh, which one of your players knows you best. Start with a really tough one here. What is your favorite color? <laughs> you guys know what your favorite color is? Oof. I would guess red. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> I don't know. I'll go, I'll go with, with think, red. Yeah, I'll go, with, I'll go with blue. Blue. Okay. They said a couple of them said blue and red, which I thought were kind of the easy answers. <laughs> Are the things that you feel like she hates that aren't necessarily related to practice or games? She I, she really doesn't like attention that much. Clutter, like just dirty, yeah. like, you know, I, I wouldn't say I'm OCD, but I, I like things to be neat right. and where they're supposed to be. And Do you know her favorite restaurant in Lawrence? Ooh. Is it a Mexican place? I think it's a Mexican place. Coach, what is your favorite restaurant in Lawrence? Ooh, 715, yeah, definitely. Good stuff. I went there recently. What year was she hired at KU? Oh, I know this. 2018. Okay. That's unfair. Yeah. You came that year. <laughs> I can't. No, no. Okay. She had three Power Five stops before she got to KU. Do you know what all three of them were? Three Power Five stops? Yeah, coaching, coaching. Texas. Texas. Did OU count or was she a GA? Uh -huh. OU, OU count? Yeah. AM? Yeah, you got it. Uh, yeah. 2018. Three Power Five stops coaching before you got here, right? Where were those three? OU, Texas. I started at A&M, okay. um, where right. I graduated. We talked about pet peeves on the opposite end of that. What like fires you up as a coach? Like something that that they can do on the field, and, and they're gonna be like, oh, coach is gonna love that. Uh, double plays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just momentum opportunities that are just stoppers on defense. I'm very passionate about defense, so I love it when we just we just do something defensively and go out and make a great play or energy like being fun to watch, like just playing with passion, just leaving it all on the field. Being like extra loud and cheering on your teammates, like she loves energy on the field. Yeah. She loves country music. And your favorite musical artist? Well, I mean, I'm a country girl. Uh, what is something that you don't leave the house without? Probably my work bag. <laughs> my, <laughs> my, I mean, I don't know, let's see. Do you want me to give you their answer? Yeah. Hairspray. I was thinking that, but I wasn't going to yeah. say it. I wasn't going to say it. They said hairspray. <laughs> They're probably right. <laughs> what position did Coach McFalls play? Short stop. stop. And what position did you play? Short stop. Do you have a walk-up song? Or if you could have one now, Oh, what gosh. Would it be? If I could have one now, that's a great question. Um, oh, 
I like uh, Phil Collins, Something in the Air. Okay, sweet. So we, we're going we're to get that queued up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's <laughs> do it. Coach, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Caroline's walk-up song will be Money Bag Yo. We're going to go to break after that note. we got Why a special guest that? coming up, though. <laughs> it's on three, Drew Galloway. We're talking K-State recruiting football and hoops. That's next. Car wrecks don't just happen from 9 to 5. If you're in a wreck, we're available 24-7. Don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. In a wreck, need a check? Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 Hi, this is voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, just call, text, or chat 988. Come on home to West Blue and Manhattan's West Side. We want to see ya in a Manhattan Kia, East Highway 24. Fellas Academy, your future is waiting. New Century Bank, faith gives us life. This is the old friends, discover some new. Come home to West Blue and Manhattan's West Side. Hi, I'm Randy Matsky with Denali Home Design. We sell a lot of wood floors, and our customers ask us all the time how best to clean and care for their floors. Well, we found a product that we think is the best on the market. In fact, we believe in it so much that we put our name on it. It's called Denali HD Floor Cleaner. This is not a product you can find in stores, so please come see us at Denali Home Design. Car wrecks don't just happen from 9 to 5. If you're in a wreck, we're available 24-7. Don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. In a wreck, need a check? Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 Well, welcome back to K-Nation. We're joined by a very special guest today to talk K-State recruiting. That's right. Drew Galloway is here from On3 Sports and K-State Online. Make sure you follow this guy. He has all the latest recruiting <laughs> info for you. Drew, uh, Clifford, the Rutgers transfer, was a guy that K-State went after. They didn't get him, and we're, we haven't got it confirmed yet, but the latest is that they're not going to get the battle kid from Arkansas. K-State fans are freaking out on Twitter, man. What do you say? Yeah, so I would just advise people to kind of relax a little bit. It's still early. I know that it sucks right now because just those are the two names that you probably heard the most of right. from other reporters from us at K-State Online. But I would say that to not worry, I think that they have some other guys that are in the back pocket that I don't think that are publicly known about, but I think that you'll kind of see that come, come across in, on the boards in the next few weeks, that they're, they had some backup mm -hmm. plans. Absolutely, and so it's not something that K-State fans should be concerned about, even though there's been several guys that have hit the portal and one that went to the draft. I mean, there seems like there's a whole lot of movement going on over there right now. Yeah, it, it's just how college basketball works right now, and it's absolutely insane to think about yeah. how basketball has kind of evolved to now it just seems like you're in a, a state of like constantly swimming upstream where yeah. if you add guys, it seems like it could scare off some other guys. Yeah. And, and it, it just is kind of just how it works right now. And it, it's interesting to really think about because I know that Data Ames was probably the biggest name to hit the portal for K-State. Right. And a lot of that kind of stemmed from all these other guards coming in. So I, I'm interested to see kind of where K-State pivots and where they go from here. Yeah, as you look at um, recruitment in general, whether that's football or basketball or whatever, how much has that changed it, even in the three or four years that you've been kind of the insider with On3? Yeah, it's been absolutely insane how much recruiting has changed. It's gone from kind of your standard, like, who gets the best relationships recruitment right. to now NIL is a lot is involved heavily transfers are more heavily involved. I, I've made a comment that if I had more free time with everything that I'm doing, that I would want to do like a research on how many guys in college basketball specifically are a multi-time transfer yeah. compared to how many guys are on their fourth year at one school. Yeah. Because I think that the multi-time transfer you're seeing more and more of, it's crazy. which is insane to think about because at this time, four years ago, right. there was still a transfer kind of 
I think it was Jeff Goodman de deemed it an epidemic at the time. Yeah. But now it just seems like it's t it's that times probably 15, 20, because there are a lot of uh, power conference schools still that have four four or more scholarship spots open, and K State's one of them. Yeah. And I believe it's like. As, as of two days ago, six Big 12 schools still had four spot, four spots open. Wow. That's just crazy. And NIL, obviously, you mentioned it, but that's right. just a huge part of this whole thing. Is that maybe helping or hurting the situation? What what do you think, <laughs> like, in terms of bringing guys, retaining Oof. guys, all it, that stuff? It, it's a balance. I know that NIL at K-State has gotten a lot better within the last few months, and you're seeing that. Uh, I believe that Wildcat NIL got to their 1,000-member uh, mark, which unlocked a $1 million mm -hmm. uh, reward, which goes to all sports. Drew, I'll ask you one more, and I want to go football this time. Uh, K-State got a linebacker out of the portal, but more, probably the bigger name is they get Dylan Edwards from Colorado, and I think fans are excited about his talent, but also they got hurt. Like, let's just be honest, they got hurt uh, a year ago or so. Uh, are they gonna, is he gonna, is he gonna, are they gonna get hurt again? I, I don't think so. I, I think that Dylan Edwards has matured a lot in this these last 12 months, and I think that he's ready to go to work and ready to go at K-State. Mm -hmm. And he gets to play with Avery Johnson. Yeah. And he gets to be with DJ Giddens as yeah. as one of the best running back tandems in the Big 12. I, I can't. I won't say the best right now because <laughs> the Big 12 running oh, back right loaded. now is loaded. Yeah. But I think that it's firmly in the top three. Heck of a one-two punch they got for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's go to break. More K Nation comes your way after a quick time out. Drew, thank you. Honey, what are you doing? What? I just fixed the leaky chimney. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney. We fix leaky chimneys properly. Hi, Clay Sherwood here with Frank and Dean, the CEOs of Cube. And they want to make sure that you live your best pool life by keeping your pool clear with Pool Life Chemicals. Let swims and sweeps keep you cool this summer. Together with Washburn University, we are proud to bring you another year of Everything Woman. A 27 news series highlighting extraordinary local women. Like a woman focusing on helping students and teachers achieve their goals. Or a woman embracing change and continuing to succeed. Or a woman dedicated to making a local fundraiser successful each year. If you know a woman who deserves to be recognized, go to KSNT.com and click on Everything Woman. Sponsored by Sharp Honda, Topeka ER and Hospital, and Washburn University. 38 Special, live. July 25th, 7 p.m., Stormont Vale Event Center. On sale now at the Cable Dahmer Box Office and Ticketmaster. 38 Special. Air not blowing, pipes not flowing, bulbs not glowing? Blue Dot Heating, Plumbing, and Electrical can fix it all. Our experts are at your service 24-7. After 65 years, we are proud to be the only 24-7 emergency provider for HVAC, electrical, and plumbing in Topeka. We offer several 0% interest options or even extended terms with low monthly payments. We have plans to fit your needs and your budget. So call Blue Dot, one call for all your home comfort needs at 785-272-1633. Do you have water damage from storms? Give Certified Fireplace and Chimney a call before the damage gets worse. We'll inspect your chimney inside and out, then we'll make any necessary repairs. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney today. Well, it's always fun to see some of your favorite athletes supporting some of your favorite athletes. Absolutely, and in terms of what we cover, Jayhawks supporting Jayhawks and Wildcats supporting Wildcats, always a fan favorite. Absolutely. Well, we got some good ones this week. Glenn counted about 50 KU football players at Hoagland Ballpark on Wednesday for baseball's game against Wichita State. That's Jalen Daniels and Devin Neal proudly in the mix, amongst many others. People forget Devin Neal used to be a member of the baseball team. I so know, right? It was almost yeah. like an alumni tour for him. Hey, <laughs> some royalty in Manhattan, too. A pair of All-Americans, both number 50s, throwing out the first pitch together. And, of course, this women's basketball is Aoka Lee and recent Dallas Cowboys draftee. Cooper Beebe. They also did a jersey swap, which has to be one of the greatest jersey swaps, if not the greatest, because I think jersey swaps are relatively <laughs> new in K-State history. Very cool. Thanks for watching K-Nation with us. We'll see you next Sunday. Have a great night. 12 weeks into the year, our guys know this is how it works. You know, you go 1-1 one, one into a Sunday, it's a winner takes off, takes off. Home runs, big hits, pressure pitches being made, you know, that, that's what it's all about. That's, that's what we all signed up for. Get it.